How to Compress PDF Files Hi all, today I'll show you how to reduce PDF file size, Mac and iPhone, so you can easily share it. Don't know about you, but for me, sharing files is the biggest problem when it comes to PDFs. Huge documents load painfully slow, and sometimes the service you're trying to upload your PDF to won't even accept it saying you should shrink your PDF file size on Mac first. So let me show you how to compress PDF on Mac so it's easy to share and occupies less space on your drive. My favorite tool for this is called PDF Squeezer. Nothing fancy, you just drag and drop your PDF onto the app like this and let's squeeze. The cool thing is this app actually shows the percentage of size reduction so you know how successful you are with your compressed PDF Mac task. And guess what? It doesn't damage the quality of your PDF by default, unlike many other apps that compress PDF files. So for example, when I choose light compression, image quality will stay at 100%. If I go with strong compression, it will drop, and you can customize the percentage. If you are okay with the lower quality provided, it will allow you to reduce PDF size even more. Look at this. Just move the slider and get to that smaller size. Splendid. You also get options to change the color profile, convert to bitmap, choose a sampling size, and more. All of those things are over here. Okay, so let's say you're not satisfied with your Mac compressed PDF outcomes. You can compress PDF on Mac even more. Just cancel the current conversion and start over. So I'm moving the file over here and let your Mac reduce PDF size once again. Now I'm done. Percent. Isn't it cool? Don't repeat this more than twice because it will eventually damage image quality, but you can surely compress two times with PDF Squeezer. Now, the best news. PDF Squeezer is part of set app subscription, so you don't have to pay for the app if you already have it on your Mac and iPhone. And if you don't, there's a free seven day trial for you to give it a try and reduce PDF size of Mac files. If you don't have Setapp, but have Adobe, you can use it to reduce PDF file size on Mac. Here's how you do it. Go to Adobe Acrobat Pro, open, file, and let's open our PDF file. Here it is. Now let's select file, save as other, and reduce size PDF. So you'll get a pop-up like this. Select retain existing. Let's save it on desktop for now and save. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the compression percentage, but if you want to check it, you can compare the file size of the original document versus the reduced one. That's how to shrink a PDF file size on Mac with Adobe. Finally, how to compress a PDF on Mac if you don't have any apps. You've probably heard about online services for file compression. Well, those are tricky. If you care about the information that your PDF file contains and don't want anyone to access it, it's better not to upload the file to any websites, especially those random free services you'll find on top of Google search results. Consider getting a good app to reduce the file size of PDF on Mac instead. There's one online tool that we recommend though. It's called Small PDF. Here's what it looks like. The service is free for 14 days and you can be sure it doesn't contain malicious ads that could infect your computer. So it's safe. You can upload and reduce size of PDF on Mac with Small PDF if you have an active internet connection. It's pretty easy, but again, Make sure you're okay with this file being stored on small PDF servers. So, that's how to reduce the size of PDF on Mac. Let me know if you have any other good tools you use, and have a great day.